Look, let's face the reality. Some lead lists are good and others are absolute garbage. And not to mention a lot of these lead softwares charge you on a monthly reoccurring basis. And at the end of the day, if you don't get a good solid lead list, what ends up happening is you start reevaluating everything that you're doing. Maybe you're sending email campaigns or you're doing other outreach messages. And if something is not working, you're looking at your message or your niche and you're doubting everything when really the biggest problem could be your lead list. In fact, your lead list is one of the most important factors when you're doing outreach. Let me explain. If you get a lead list that shows you Google ratings, or maybe you get a lead list that shows you whether someone has a website, they don't have a website, maybe they have a Facebook pixel installed, maybe a Google pixel installed, you can now craft outreach messages based around what they have or what they don't have. So you're not reaching out to the masses when wasting your email credit or wasting money on leads that won't even convert in the first place. So I'm going to show you some tools in this video that I like, but it's not just me. I've also seen hundreds and hundreds of people now use this inside of my community. And the cool thing is about these tools is some of them are pay per use and others you can pay for a lifetime membership, which is insane because then it allows you to scrape an unlimited amount of lead. When I started doing outreach in my agency, I was just targeting one niche and I would have the same outreach message for every single person within that niche. I would reach out to everyone. I would guarantee them some kind of appointment offer or new leads. I've tested so many things. It's actually insane. But my outreach messages didn't start working until I was able to cater it to each client and also customize the emails a little bit to make it seem that I spent extra effort on writing an email specifically to them. So for example, if you have a lead list and it's giving you the amount of Google reviews that that business has, you want to pull that in your email, right? If you have a lead list of people that have websites and don't have websites, it might make sense to separate the ones that don't from the ones that do. And now you can take all the people that don't have websites and try to sell in maybe a website in a day. Or if you can pull the reviews and the rating that they have on Google, and then every single person that has less than three star reviews or less than four star reviews, you can send them a different message and say, Hey, I saw you have below a three star rating, right? That's if you're selling reputation management. So you can kind of see where I'm going here. So you don't want to just take a lead list of your niche import it and just start blasting emails. You want to think a little bit about it and you don't want to personalize every single email, but you can do this at scale by segmenting the list in multiple ways. So maybe if your outreach messages aren't working, the problem is not your outreach message or even your offer. Maybe it's who you're targeting that offer to, or maybe it's your lead list quality overall. So let's dive in stop searching for 10 million other softwares. I'm going to show you some good ones right now. All right. So instant data scraper. This is the first one I'm going to show you. The cool thing about this one is that it is a Chrome extension. So you can just install it, use it on different websites. You can go to Yelp, you can go to Google My Business, as you can see here, um, yellow pages. And all you do is run the extension and it'll give you a spreadsheet that looks like this. Now it's still a lot of manual work, but if you're on a tight budget, this one can definitely work and get you a good lead list that you can use for email campaigns or like SMS campaigns or voicemail campaigns or really any style of outreach that you want to use. So all of these tools that I'm going to mention in this video, you'll also find inside of this spreadsheet. This is linked down below in the description. If you want to just favorite this page, that might be the best thing because I'm always adding new tools that we find 
directly to this spreadsheet so you can see how it all works. You can have links directly to all of them. And I even add in discount codes that either I find or someone in my community of hundreds and hundreds of people find some kind of discount code. We add it on here so that way everyone can benefit. Also, real quick, if you want our client getting scripts, our client getting strategies, our outreach, DMs, literally everything A to Z, then you can go ahead and check out the free course in the description. If you want all of our snapshots imported into your account, I'm providing all of that. It's completely free if you don't have a high level account then you can sign up for a free 30-day trial down below and i will give you access to everything sales call recordings additional services that you can actually offer how to sell those services and how to charge high ticket everything is in there so let's dive back into the video so the next one after instant data scraper is going to be this tool that's called outscraper now the cool thing about this tool is that it's pay per use so you can actually pay for it as you go so you don't have to spend you know hundreds of dollars up front you don't have to pay 30 40 50 dollars per month for way more leads than you need but you can pay as you go and the cool thing is is that it does work extremely well for local businesses and it does pull reviews pulls their website pulls all that stuff because we are scraping google maps and that's one of my favorite places to scrape because in some industries People even put their cell phones on Google Maps, so you can even text these people. Now, again, if you're doing email outreach, you want to validate those emails. If you're doing SMS outreach, you want to validate those SMS messages. And again, I have all those tools inside of here, inside the spreadsheet, so you can review it. Now, as you can see, it's also pretty cheap, right? The pricing is certainly not bad. Now, if you would prefer to just get a bulk list of a bunch of different businesses in your niche and do this at scale, do this with a lot of volume. I love using this website, it's called AbSumo. And I get a lot of softwares on here. As you can see here, lifetime deal. And it allows you to purchase this one time and you have it forever. So let's scroll down. As you can see, it's the same exact software. It's going to generate you a code. You're gonna put that in under coupon. And then when you pay that hundred something dollars, you can then use it forever. And if you don't like it, you can also get a refund within 60 days of that purchase. Now, what does that include? It does include 5,000 businesses per month. So you don't have unlimited, but 5,000 businesses to reach out to. Trust me when I say that's plenty and you will be busy and you're going to get the rating, right? The phones, emails, websites, and a couple other information. Big one I like to use is ratings. Other big one is websites. If you're selling website in a day packages, meaning it's a templated website, just get everyone that doesn't have a website and say, Hey, I saw you didn't have a website. I built you one. Let me know if I should send you the link right here and then put their logo on a site, send them a template and you're good. Everyone that has a very low rating, pitch them a Google review campaign. It's not rocket science once you categorize it this way. And AppSumo honestly is an amazing tool because right now this is on here. They do take off different tools. So if you're not seeing it on there, just go on here and just type in lead scraper or type in lead generation tool and scroll down and go through some of the other ones that they have. They have a lot of different softwares that you can purchase at a discounted rate and use them forever. Here's another one. Now I've never used this one, but local scraper lead generation software, right? So again, you can generate local businesses using some of these. Now always look at reviews and always make sure that they are a good software. But even if you don't like using the tool, you have that refund guarantee. So you should be all good. And the last one that also can work very, very well is called lead swift. So if you go over to this website, again, it's a lot for local businesses and it's not crazy expensive. It's very affordable. This one is a per month subscription and I did not find it on AppSumo, but it still works really well. And you still get a bunch of information from businesses. So it's a worthwhile mention. See, I think a lot of people overcomplicate this lead scraping process so much. Pick any one of these tools and just start taking action. Just start doing outreach. If you're not getting responses after a hundred emails, that's okay. Keep going. Send a thousand, send 2000, categorize your lead list based on what you're selling. For example, if you find a tool that shows if someone has a Facebook pixel set up, but they don't have a Google pixel, guess what? 
maybe you can sell them Google ads. Or maybe if someone has a TikTok pixel or a Google pixel, then you can go in and offer them more appointments, more leads using Facebook ads. Obviously, they care about internet ads, so show them a new opportunity and give them a new guarantee on something that they're not utilizing. Or maybe they are, but they just don't have the right pixel installed. And so what this allows you to do is categorize your lead list and separate them after you get them from tools like this and craft messages that actually make sense for that audience. And so when you do that, you're able to craft a better offer get more replies, get more meetings, and actually get more clients. And what I also suggest you do when you're doing outreach is you pair this with video AI outreach. I have another video on this channel where I interviewed my friend on how he's getting a bunch of meetings, sending automated loom videos. He's recording the screen one time. And in the background, his software is pulling that person's website and it's making it seem like he's sending a custom video to that person, even though it's pre-recorded, and he's able to do that at scale. So it looks like a personalized video. If you want to watch that and you want to see exactly how to get that set up, I'll link up that video right here.